Yagami-san. The go-to place for Saori-san's dress is La Marche, over on Showa Street. That's where all the hostesses in Kamurocho buy their clothes. And why do you know that exactly? A, a good number of our clients happen to be cabaret girls. <clears throat> uh, anyway, send me a picture of Saori-san once you've picked a dress out. I'll recommend a good stylist based on what you go with. It feels like this really ought to be you doing this. I'm ready, Yagami-san. Yep, let's do it. We should start with the dress. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to La Marche. Hey, we're looking for a dress. Specifically one for a club called Queen Rouge. Any recommendations? But of course, sir. Now then, our dresses are right this way. How's it going in there, Sari-san? Almost done? Hold on a second. I don't usually dress like this. You know, it almost feels like we're on a date. Mafia won't be happy about that. Sari-san, you've known Mafuyu since you were a kid, right? Yes, we were close in our early teens. But then we grew distant and didn't reconnect until law school. Right, I remember now. Mafu's family was wealthy, so she knew how to socialize. Whereas I preferred to keep to myself. My classmates often bullied me. But whenever anything got too bad, 
Mafi was always there to protect me. Even then, she wanted to be a prosecutor. She didn't know it at the time, but I really respected her. Is that why you decided to go into law? Yes. At first, I wanted to be a prosecutor too. But ultimately, protecting the weak fits my personality better than punishing evil. Sorry, Yagami-san. I'm not normally this talkative. Everyone has a story to tell. Speaking of which, Mafia looked up to someone too. Hmm? When she was just a young girl, she and her mother were victims of a hit and run. Yeah, she told me about that. Her mother threw herself in front of Mafuyu, but ended up unstable and unconscious for a while afterward. Yes. They ultimately caught the culprit, but Mafuyu's mother was still comatose at the time of the trial. With how young Mafuyu was at the time, it was difficult for her to explain to the police what happened. But the prosecutor was very patient, investigating every last detail of how the accident happened. Wow. He fought for justice in place of a victim who couldn't fight for herself. In fact, that may have been Mafu's first love. Huh? The prosecutor? He's Mafu's boss now. Mori Tassan. Huh? That's pretty crazy. Never expected she'd be into older men. Do you remember when I first introduced you to Yagami-san? We were all drinking together at Tender. That was the day Mori Tassan had married another woman. So, I wanted Mafia to meet someone better. That's why I invited you. Huh, now that you mention it, she did seem kind of down that night. <laughs> Does it surprise you? Actually, I think I'm falling for you now, Sari-san. Wait, what? Where is this coming from? If this is a joke, Yagami-san, you have terrible comedic timing. <laughs> Come on, I'm just messing with you. What an ass. Anyway, I'm done changing. Hmm? Huh, not bad. You think? Oh, hold on, let me get a picture. Huh? Uploading photos without an individual's permission is... Sorry, Hoshino-kun asked me to do it. Said he wants to figure out the best makeup for your dress. Huh. And speak of the devil. It's me, Hoshino. You're a natural at this, Yagami-san. Saori-san is as beautiful as ever. Man, this is incredible. I should have tagged along after all. <clears throat> so, which salon should we go to? Oh, uh, right. There's a place called Cherry, also on Showa Street. They do top-notch work. It's not far, either. Got it. Thanks. Welcome, sir. What can we do for you today?
Whoa, you look better than I expected. I'd rather you didn't stare like that. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, let's head to the Queen Rouge. Hey, smile for me, beautiful. Oh, she's a knockout. Uh, I'll knock you out. Oh, no, I meant a dress. Just a dress. Hey, girl. Yo, what club you work for, huh? You got a gig tonight, babe? We'll pay you double. Hey, where's she work? That's where I want to be. Huh? Oh, well, um... Yes, come right in, sir. Thank you for choosing us yet again. Hmm. Oh, it's you. Where's the girl? You're gonna bring her, yeah? How soon can she start work? Tonight, as long as there aren't any problems. Girl's got potential, but we'll see whether or not she's got what it takes to sh shine. <laughs> Holy shit. This is Sari Shirosaki-san. Ah, uh, uh, you have the job. <laughs> You're like a freaking angel. Come work for us, please. I'm Shirosaki. Nice to meet you. I think she's still kind of nervous, but she'll warm up soon enough. No, she's perfect. I'm loving that I don't care vibe. Huh? I've never really entertained anyone before, but... Not a problem. Not a problem at all. It looks like that. Who needs experience? <laughs> Let's get you situated. Right this way, beautiful. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashkin Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. Sorry, son, was it? Follow me. Now, you said you don't have much experience. But honestly, you seem okay to me. Your responses have been spot on. Do you mean that? See, that humility is key. Young girls like you are way too casual nowadays. I'm not even that young. We're on the high end of Kamurocho clubs, you see. Naturally, our customers are of a higher status as well. Executives from massive corporations will come here to entertain guests, or celebrities will come to throw parties. Given their social standing, it's important to be as polite as possible. Understand? Yes. Other than that, is there anything in particular I should be aware of? Number one is try to stay engaged, no matter what. Act like you're having fun, and toss out tons of compliments. So I should kill them with kindness. And once they drain their glass, get them to order another. Ask for one for yourself, too. You're saying I need to beg? Oh yeah, these guys will do anything you want if you just ask nice and rub up on them. I'm not doing that. Either way, you're not going to be the only girl at the table. Just do it like the other hostesses do. Well, that's how everyone learns coming in. I'll see what I can do. Okay, it's almost time for opening. You'll be starting on the floor, Saori-san. Good luck.
Hi, I'm Sumi Ray. Hiya, I'm Mika. Hiya, I'm sorry. Oh, I wasn't expecting such enthusiasm. Oh well, come, take a seat. Don't mind if I do. And so, as the young blood in the company, I was called on to make a sacrifice for the greater good. A sacrifice? They're working you to the bone. It's a shame how much some places impose on their workers. Hmm. But you'll persevere in the end. I just know it. Oh, you can tell? Of course. I get the feeling you're super reliable, like you'll do whatever needs to be done. <laughs> A feeling, huh? That just means you don't know for sure. No, 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 no. She can see how valuable I really am. Now she just has to convince my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the fun. You've been requested by another customer, Sumeri son. Ah, apologies. You'll have to excuse me. Well, that's how the professional world is. If you want to climb the ladder, you have to be persistent. Yes, precisely. Have you ever experienced something like that? Huh? I... um... Have I mentioned how much I love your tie? What? This old thing? <laughs> I bought it on a whim while I was in Italy for business. You have great fashion sense. Not many Japanese men could pull off that look. So true. I can't look away. Wow, I didn't realize you had such a good eye. <laughs> Maybe I'll check that brand out myself someday. <laughs> Just warning you, they're not cheap. Sorry about that. You were covering for me that whole time. Don't worry about it. I'm used to paying attention to my surroundings. You really have what it takes, Saori san. Way more than me. I don't know. You seem to be far better adjusted. How long have you been working here? Hmm, maybe six months? At least I'm better now than I was back then. I was the worst girl in the club, without a doubt. One time, a customer even yelled at me. I remember it like it was yesterday, and I'm always so scared that it'll happen again. It's okay. We all have down days at work every so often. Uh, about that customer? Um, well, after he left the club that day, he... he died. What? You probably heard about it when it happened. He got drunk, got in a fight, and then died from his injuries. He was apparently pretty important, too. Involved in researching this new drug called AD9. You mean Hoshki-san from the ADDC? Yeah, that's the guy! You knew him? The case was all over the news, yes. I read quite a lot about his death. I poured the drinks Hoshki-san got drunk off of, and it was my carelessness that made him upset. I can't help but feel responsible for him getting in the fight that killed him. My sales numbers aren't so good either. I'm kind of worried that they're going to fire me. I know I should do more to boost my numbers, but I always think back to Hoshki-san. About that, Mika-san. Mika-san, Saori-san, you've got a customer. <laughs> Be right there! Sorry. That got kind of dark, huh?
Sorry, son. You good? Oh, sorry. I'm heading over now. You're running low. How about another drink? Huh? Well, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Let me see here. Why don't you splurge on something fancy? I wish I could, but the wallet's kind of light this month. Aw, really? I'm kind of thirsty. Uh. Uh, uh, yeah, me too. Come on, do it for us. Uh, um. All right, give me your finest booze. Yay, you are the best. Fresh bottle coming right up. I've never seen numbers that high before. Don't thank me. That was all you, Mikasan. Hey, let's go grab some drinks. My treat. I want to pay you back for tonight. <sighs> I couldn't. Actually, I know just the spot. Want to go there? I can't wait to learn more about you, Mikasan. Totally down. We just gotta hang in till our shift's over. Hello, Yagami-san? Hey, any luck? Yes, I made friends with a girl who served Hoshki six months ago. We're gonna bounce and go to tender in a few. Perfect. Wait, did you just say bounce? Forget that. Where are you? At my office. A lot happened after I dropped you off at the club. Care to elaborate? Well, maybe later. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashiki and Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. Hello? Hoshino-kun? Sarisan made it in, thanks to you. Got a job at the Queen Rouge and everything. Great. I knew her beauty was nothing to sneeze at. Thanks for taking her around, Yagami-san. By the way, what's the plan for tonight? We wait for Sarisan to call us. <sighs> Not much to do, but wait till then. I'm gonna go kill time around town. Be careful out there. Yeah, we will do. This again. What a waste. Hello? Hmm? 
Suspicious. Hmm?
What the? Hmm? Suspicious. Ah. <laughs> ne. Huh? いい加減にしろよ。
This is Yagami. I'm on it. Excuse me. Nani? I'm on it. Let's go. 
まで行かれますからそれでは出発い
You got this, right? 